Christmas. Yeah. See, then you learn to listen to. <laughs> you learn to listen to my prophecies. I predicted this snow. <laughs> this has cost a ton of money. No, this is a ton of snow. They tell me, or hey, something babe, like what, that. What? Five hundred pounds uh, of snow. Well, how much snow something? is this? Quarter, Quarter a ton of, ton snow, of snow. snow in here, and it's still falling. <laughs> <laughs> it's miracle snow. Yes. We hope you're having a wonderful Christmas, and we've gathered. Our PTL family around us here and some of the folks that make it happen and our studio is just filled with uh, hundreds, actually thousands of people who have yes. come to celebrate Christmas at Christmas City Heritage <laughs> USA. Paul Faring, our mu music director. Uh, Larry, Larry, do you have, uh, can, can anybody over there wing, we wish you a Merry Christmas? You can tell we're going to start right out with uh, <laughs> throwing a curve. With a wing. Here, I'll give you my mic, All Paul. Right. Okay? All right. Paul, let's sing wave everybody with come on. Let's sing it to everybody. And, and wave at your relatives at home. And, and you know, because... Okay. All right. Everybody, come on. Everybody sing now. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Did you sing for us, Tammy? I'll do it. Okay, now, Jim. Tammy doesn't need to sing Christmas songs. No, I don't. I, this is the, probably the only Christmas song I've ever sung. Is my mic on? No. Yeah. Can you hear us? Can, Can you hear us out there? No. Yeah. Some can, some can't, they said. Okay, now this time what we're going to do, I've got an interlude in this song. And so the cameras are going to pan your faces real slowly. And when, and when I quit singing, then a little interlude comes. And I want everyone to... Stick your tongue out. No, no, no. No. No? Throw what? kisses oh, or, no. or, or wave to your loved ones at home that are, that are watching you. So this okay, is your this chance. This is the hottest okay? snow I've ever this been in. It's warm snow. And it's not even melting. Woo. I can't understand this. Woo. <laughs> 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 Dr. Laura Lee back there are two token teddy bears today. <laughs> I tell you, this flu we've all had, it's one minute you're hot and the next minute you're cold. I came in here freezing and now I can turn warm. Right, right. It, it, it's warm, cold outside though. I think it's the Christmas spirit. You think that's why oh, yeah, it warms such, us all it's up. It's such a right? warm spirit. Now, is everybody practiced now? You're everybody practiced now. Get your you, best look. You throw your kiss or you do your little wave as, as the camera pans by and, and Dale will pan by you just real slowly so you can say hi to your... If he can manage We've got two minutes of this, so, so they'll be, it'll be able to get a lot of people in in two minutes, okay? All right, I'm ready, I think. Born upon this day, each poor herald angel in the night, our mean, our redeemer, I mean Israel, and Yeah. 
Okay, now this is the time when they're going to pan. Everybody wave now. This is your time. Or throw your kisses. Do whatever it is you want to do here now. Hi, Mom and Dad at home. Brothers and sisters. I want to say hi to Vicki. Uh, Vicki's without her Mommy and Daddy today. Vicki Goodman. What's Vicki's last name now? Vicki Goodman and Clark. Metal. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, they're all without their, their Mom and Papas today, so... Okay, now, some of you aren't waving. Come on, this is your time. There you are. Watch yourself on the monitor. This is time to look at yourself on television. That's it. Throw kisses. You throw your kisses. There you go. See, people are watching now. He's on the Jimmy and his family in Memphis. Merry Christmas. Look at all those happy faces, oh. Jim. Your pictures will be ready in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. oh, hi. Uh, okay, Doug, you say hi to Mama. I want to say hi to Polly. It's the first time in 81 years that I haven't been with her. Well, the first time in 55 <laughs> for me and 81 for her. Whatever. <laughs> we should have bought Polly right here with us this time. <laughs> hi, Polly. Merry Christmas. I'd like to say hi. Uh, Merry Christmas to Aunt Jim. And uh, all my folks in International Falls, Minnesota. Yes. What's that, James? The coldest spot in the nation. Coldest spot in the nation. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, all those what? Come on, one last wave, everybody. Come on. Oh, it looks good. Oh, your faces. I love people's faces. Oh, I like to look at faces. Happy faces. Then everybody's going to be able to see you at home. have one of the biggest crowds of the year here right now. We sure now. do. And it's so wonderful to have your friends around you, and I hope you've had your family with you, and if not, we're your family. Yes. And we're here to say Merry Christmas, and we have a little Christmas card for you. Tammy and I mailed out thousands of Christmas yeah. cards this year. In case you didn't get a Christmas card from us, we have a video Christmas card for you right now from Christmas City. Jim, you know, sending Christmas cards to friends and family has become a tradition over the years. Their notes and messages bring distant loved ones together with the latest news of what's been happening in the family or just a kind word to let one know that someone's thinking about them. And since you're part of our family here at PPL, here's our video Christmas card just for you.
Christmas and all the best in the years to come to your family from our family here at Heritage USA and PTL. I'm Frank Gamble. Jim? Thank you, Frank. Merry Christmas from all of us here. Jim, I have another special Merry Christmas to say to okay. Ray, Ray and Bill Whitlock of California. Uh, Ray has just gone through our open heart surgery. And so Merry Christmas to you, Ray. We're, we know what the Lord's going to do something special and for you. And our own Dr. Nichols. We yes, Dr. Nichols. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. had a, a heart, I don't know, I guess he had a heart attack. Did he have a heart attack, Vine? And he's gone through a serious um, operation, but he's... I think he's home today. Oh, we and love so you, Dr. Nichols. A miracle Nichols. is really oh, taking place. Oh, thank God. So, and June, 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 God bless you, oh, Well, we, we got to stop. <laughs> we can wish Merry Christmas. We just say we love you all. And our celebration does not end for another month till the end of January. We celebrate. Yeah, celebrate <laughs> Jesus here. And uh, tonight we have uh, the Dinner Theater Love Came Down. We think it's sold out at this moment. We're not sure. There might be a couple tickets left, but the rumor is it is sold out. I'll find out as soon as somebody gets out of bed to call me. <laughs> but uh, everybody's, everybody's exhausted. They go late at night, and so they get here this earlier. Well, anyhow, so uh, we're trying to get an extra run in on Friday night of Love Came Down. It oh, is, it is such can. a popular production that it, we're trying to hold it over if we can. So we're working on that right now. But tonight, Doug Oldham hosts a very exciting Christmas special live from the Big Barn Auditorium. Doug, ask everybody to join you tonight. Well, I hope those of you who have cable will look in because we uh, have from 8 o'clock until 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time a uh, very, very special two-hour program featuring the family, Bob and Jeannie Johnson, Derek Floyd. Uh, I'm hoping James Blackwood yes, will, uh, yes, will, will be, be in, tonight. in it tonight, and uh, we, just, we just have a grand evening. It will be almost all music, very fast-paced, and you'll get to see the families of the uh, orchestra and the singers, and, and the rest of us will all have our families there. It's just going to be one and grand, a, grand evening. a lot evening. of these folks here will be uh, there from the audience because they're going to be having Christmas night here at Heritage USA, and it's going to be very nice. I will be there for a little bit and say hi to everyone, but it's Doug Olden's very special Christmas with love from Heritage USA. And our apostles of love here, we got, uh, we don't know where Henry is. Have you, Sandy, have you seen Uncle Henry? Would you believe yes? You have? Was, yes. Was he a good boy? Well, <clears throat> I tell you, I, I, talked, I talked with a very prominent gentleman in the audience a few minutes ago, and he said, uh, well, Santa, have I been a good boy? I said, don't you remember? <laughs> he, he said, well, I thought you knew all those things. I said, I do, but I won't tell. <laughs> you, and so, so, so you mean the man who's close to the Assemblies of God or something like that? Just or about AG as high whatever? up as you can get. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know who that could be. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, <clears throat> this lovely lady. Hello, said, Mrs. Claus. <laughs> where's your, Hi, where's your Mrs. Claus outfit? Well... This Mrs. Claus almost had pneumonia last week, and she was afraid to dress so in that little thin, pretty dress that matches Santa Claus. So <laughs> I had to dress up in fur to stay warm. Mrs. Claus is getting sophisticated. I'll tell you she? what happened. She, when she found out that we had an invitation to come back and be with you here, here at the USA Christmas City again this year, yes. she said, Looky here, Santa. If you can't provide something better than that little uh, gingham outfit I had last year, we're going to have to go to a marriage workshop. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Santa Claus getting a divorce? Wouldn't that be terrible? <laughs> well, I found out who Santa Claus really is. And, and, I, and, and he loves to give hugs, and he's pastor of our hugging department. I, really, I won't tell you who he is, but I know who Santa Claus really is. And well, Jim, really, there's more truth to that than fiction, because that's the real Santa Claus is in the hearts of people that love. That's it. Jim, I want to share this one thought about Santa Claus. I think that Santa Claus is the symbol of the true spirit of Christmas, of loving and giving and sharing, very similar to the way the Statue of Liberty and the flag is to the patriotism and to the freedoms that our Constitution guarantees us. I think that's what the real Santa Claus is to Christmas. Amen. Yeah. And I'm honored to be <laughs> Santa Claus here. <laughs> Doug, sing a little song for us right now, would you? Uh, in honor of all this snow, we you do know, it one more. This is the last chance you get to do it for a year. Promises, promises. <laughs> well, it's one of my favorites, and I started singing it when I was about 14 or 15 years old. Been at it ever since. And I hope you'll enjoy it today. And I hope 
whether your Christmas is white or not, that it will be the best that you have ever had. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know When treetops glisten Where all my grandkids listen To hear Santa's rain kids feel like you got to have snow and so well we dream it once again of a white Christmas with every Christmas card on the oh seriously may your day your days be merry and bright, and may all your Christmases be Don't forget, every one of your Christmases can be white with Jesus Christ because His Word tells us that we can be whiter than snow, that His blood washes our sins. And that's what the red in the Christmas color stands for. The red stands for the blood of Jesus. The green of Christmas stands for life. That's what that evergreen is all about stands for life everlasting through Jesus Christ. And you can have an everlasting yeah. white Christmas. Yeah. Whiter than snow. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. <laughs> Timmy, I want to ask a question of people about All their right. most memorial, memorable, 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 <laughs> memorable. Uh, Christmas. Uh -huh. The one that kind of stands out. Uh -huh. Do you have one in your lifetime? Yeah, I do. It was, it was a Christmas that you and I spent, and we decided to go to Florida where it was warm for Christmas because we had spent too many white Christmases. I mean, in 40 <laughs> below zero weather and storms. 
And uh, so we decided to go to Florida. The and year we, after we had re we resigned from CBN that year? Yes, yes. And we went down to the Florida Keys as far, what, south as we could go. Uh, we, we, we were cold I and mean, we were exhausted. And we wanted to get some rest. So we, had, we were pulling a, a, a trailer, a travel mm -hmm. trailer. And we went down there and it was freezing cold. But in spite of the freezing cold, we were in Florida and we were going to be warm. We got in our bathing suits along with about probably 25 other crazy people and sat outside and had our pictures made just to show that we had been in Florida on Christmas <laughs> when it was supposedly warm. We didn't tell everybody when we sent the pictures home to that we were freezing cold. We couldn't wait to get back <laughs> yeah, and get the cold Yeah, snap. It hit Florida that time. Was, we thought, oh, Lord. We had dreamed all these <laughs> years of going to Florida yeah. for a rest and it happened to be a cold snap. Yeah. Uh, we had a Christmas yeah, a tree, remember? We had a little Christmas tree. Out on a picnic table. We sure did. And, and met a lot of people. That were, It was just so warm and wonderful. And we didn't know the people. And yet we became very good friends of all those people. That was That's fun. the thing about campers. I, I got to take I my hat campers. off to campers. Yeah, I love campers. If, if usually you'll never meet a stranger That's in a campground. True. Because there's some comradeship that is among the campers. And uh, we, we met new friends. We and did. it was a good Christmas. It was and Christmas. even though that time we were alone. Yeah. The Christmas I think means much to me is the Christmas that we had uh, lost our ministry in California and it was a ministry that I thought that I would be uh, the president of or the leader of the rest of my life and so when that happened it, it seemed like my whole world came to an end and I kind of say figuratively we were out on the curb and we, we didn't know what we were going to do and a lot of the people that are here, Dale Hill is directing this program, was there with us and we were... 20 some of us and no money, no income, no, money, no income true. at all. And it looked like it was going to be a very bleak Christmas. Yes. And I was thinking what Laura Lee said yesterday about it's those awful times sometimes that turn into the best times of our life. And that Christmas looks so bleak, but you know what? People begin to do things that you couldn't believe. One began to give food. One be another one began to bring this. Another one began to bring this thing. And somebody came up to us, and you wouldn't believe You know, we needed money so bad, so if anybody gave us money for Christmas, we wouldn't have spent it on Christmas because we would have bought, uh, you know, things... Made a house payment. Like make a house payment to keep <laughs> right. from having your house repossessed and the car payment. But somebody gave us a gift certificate so from the May had, Company so we had to buy that Christmas. you had to spend at the May Company. So you know what we had to do? <laughs> We had to go down and buy everybody in the group presents oh, at the May Company yeah, in wonderful. California, which is a fine store. It was store, several you know? hundred dollars that yeah. they gave us and gave certificates. And so by the time, and then God sent the, the Ikes to, to bring food, truckloads. I mean, yeah, trunk, they their did. car and their We couldn't even get it all in our refrigerator. Full of food. And we ended about up. About 20 of us in the living room of our little house. And remember the handmade items that yes, one Jim, lady made, the most beautiful dolls yes. and things. And we had. The greatest Christmas we One did. One of the finest Christmases of our life. So, things can turn around if you really have faith in God that's and, true, and want to see them that's, turn around. That's true. You know? I truly so I'm going to ask that. that question a few of you here. So, maybe you can be thinking about what was, what was your, uh, your best Christmas. What was, what was a Christmas? At least one that, that uh, you remember. Oh, memorable. Uh, let, me, let me ask Vestal. Then we'll have another song. Uh, Vessel, you're feeling better today? Oh, yeah. And Howard, how you doing? Well, I'm fine, Brother Jim, just fine. I'm uh, having a ball. <laughs> well, the, these two Santa Clauses came down to our house last night. Oh, and just, yeah. I'll tell you, you folks have just, everybody's been so good to us that we have just feel too blessed. Yeah. Too blessed. What, what about, do you have a Christmas that kind of jumps out in your mind that, that you remember? Yeah. The one that I, I remember most was when Howard and I, I heard you talking about hard times. When Howard and I were pastoring the church and no income, and we couldn't go home for Christmas, and Dad sent me twenty dollars, and we drove home on five and spent fifteen for Christmas. Oh, and it was wonderful. But we got to go and be with Mom and Daddy, and when you got to Mama's house, it was Christmas. Ah. Oh, everything was Christmas at Mama. What about you, Howard? Do you have one, uh, Brother Jim? Many years ago, when I was just a, uh, about seven years old, I uh, remembered that I had a half-brother. My father married in the Philippines. He was a Spanish-American war veteran. And this wife died, and he had one son brought him over. And I loved him so much. And he came to see us when we had nothing, had nothing. And I never will forget when he come in pulling a little red wagon. Aww. And that has always 
just, I've always thought that every little child in America ought to have a red wagon. Yeah. yeah. I've Thank you. We want you to do a song for us if you, if you can manage to get one out. You've been sick too long. It's time to sing again if you can in a few minutes. Brenda Davis has a very special Christmas wish for all of you. And uh, this is a, a beautiful song that she does in the Christmas production. And it's called Silver Bells. Here's our own Brenda Davis. The holiday season just wouldn't be the same without this old time favorite. So close your eyes and let Christmas come alive with the sounds of silver bells. The peace I we know uh, <laughs> I hope they have asked all the actors and actresses in the play but we have held it over and so from love came down Hi. it was the end tonight but it, uh, it looks like it's sold out for tonight I don't know if somebody needs to let me know is it sold out tonight for sure we we need to find that out if there's any tickets left but it is such an unbelievable yeah, production oh. and uh, they're holding up a card we're holding it over we're gonna run it through December 28th through the 30th ah, there will be a matinee. What are we going to do? Two, what's that? 2.30 p.m. 2.30 p.m. Uh, matinee. And uh, so that will be a, that's, that's going to be just snack, a, a matinee snack. For, and that's only $8. And then the uh -huh. dinner show is $15, which is full dinner. And that's at 8 p.m. So the dinner show, uh, the dinner starts at 8 p.m. It's a little bit later because we've got the birthday party starting up and there's some of the actors in both productions so they'll go from one to the other. So we are good to, glad to be able to announce Love Came Down. Well, let's move on. I want to find out, but Tammy is yes. going to, Tammy's, we asked someone to bring their favorite. Paul, did you find me a broom? I'm going to need to sweep some of the snow away <coughs> here. Uh, so Tammy, can, would you get ready with your, mm -hmm. your present? I that, will. That you want? And I want to ask Vi and Eddie over here. 
How you doing? The Asvitos, uh, members of our team here. What, Vi and Eddie, do you have a Christmas that, I don't care, you can go back to your childhood or you can go now or, or do you have a Christmas that stands out in your mind, just kind of jumps out? Uh, well, they all do. Whenever your children are real small, you get so excited with their presents and you stay up half the night making sure you've got them together mm -hmm. and finding out how to read the instructions. And then when your grandchildren come along, you're doing the same thing. So I think that any, any Christmas that, that I've had that is with children is really exciting to me. Yeah, I, I, we've had the most marvelous Christmas because our kids are sick. And that's terrible. We keep seeing that. But they're there every minute. Otherwise, they'd be running, playing with their friends. And, uh, and, not, uh, and, and the teenagers would be out to doing whatever teenagers do. You know, they would not be at home. And we just, Tammy Sue was so sick last night, she would cry. I mean, just literally get to the point, she was so sick, she cried. Oh. And then we'd laugh like idiots. We ate, we had our Christmas meal, and laughed like we were a bunch of goonies. I mean, we had, just, it, I guess Christmas with kids, it just, that's what Christmas, what'd you do, get new help here? Yeah. <clears throat> good, uh, good help is hard to find. And uh, I, by, I think, you said something happened last night. Can, we, can you see what happened? Because I think maybe this is sure as I good a Christmas. Without, Don't you think this is as good a Christmas? As oh, yeah, it's wonderful. Um, and it's, it's so wonderful to me. I always cry over wonderful things. <laughs> <laughs> Women do that. <laughs> I, I have a little granddaughter that's six, and she's had some special problems. And last night when she came over, she hasn't hardly been able to speak. And she came in the kitchen, and we had a, a box of uh, Bojangles stuff there, and she said... Oh, chicken. And then a little later on, she and I was in the kitchen and we were working at some things and she looked at me and she says, I love you. And for a little girl that hasn't hardly said very many words in six years, that was a fabulous present. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like a good kind of present. <laughs> Eddie, do you have a Christmas present? that you can remember? Yeah, the best Christmas I think I've, I've had was in 79, I had two open heart surgeries. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the second one was in December, and all my children had me over to their house and everything, and all the grandchildren were there. And I know God saved me for a reason. <laughs> you, you were thankful to be alive, right? Yes, I was. Uh, uh, people who go through open heart surgery never take life for granted again, do they? No, sir. No, I had two of them, two open heart surgeries within two months. Wow. So and, you celebrated life. Right. And I know God saved me for a purpose. Yeah, we do too. Amen. We love you too. Thank you. Two of our best friends and co-workers here. Well, Tammy Faye, we, we asked them to bring their presents. Yes. Uh, uh, not mainly the best present, but maybe <laughs> the most unusual present. Tam? Yeah, do you mind? I don't know how to turn him on. Well, let's see. There's a little switch here. There. See, you're the one who studied this guy, Jim. He's on. Jim played with him for two hours last night. That, Tammy loves animals, and we've had two cats in a row die, so I've given yeah. up on live animals. So this is the new... <laughs> this is the new Oliver. This is the new, this is the new pet of the future. Yeah. Now, what do I do? I, this, you, can, you don't have to use this, but... Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of like his leash if you want to make him stay in one yeah, spot. Yeah, but you don't, right? you don't have to use this. It, right. You, you just talk to it and uh, it purrs. He's purring. Purr. Quiet. Can you hear it? <laughs> nice kitty. <laughs> nice kitty. <laughs> I want you to listen. I want you to listen. I've, I've taught, I taught it to say things. No, say. Okay. Uh, hello? I'll say Oliver. <laughs> No, no, just Oliver. Uh, talks as long as you talk. Oh, it talks as long as you talk. Uh, <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> oh, now it's a lot <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> now try it to count. Say, one, two, three. One, two, three. 
One, two, three, four. <laughs> I mean, a talking cat now. Yes, that's right, honey. That's right, mm. yes. And he, he gets mad. You can make him mad, and he goes around chasing his tail and does all sorts of really funny things. I don't know what's good stuff. <laughs> He's purring again. <laughs> No, it doesn't do housework at all how I wish. Can you make him go around and change his tail, Jim? Oh, yeah. You, you can. You, you don't even need, you don't need the leash on oh, to do okay. all those things. You just talk. To, uh, I, I haven't studied. It has an entire book with it, so yeah. <laughs> A kitty book. There. Just take its leash off. And, uh, there he goes. You Come talk on. to it and say, Come here, Hello. kitty. Go. Go. Whoa, you know he's talking. Come on. He gets mad, too. Come on. There he comes, there he comes. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, move, move. Kitty! <laughs> no, 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 don't no, go no, in kitty, it. No, 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 Go forward, go, go forward, one. Go, cat, go! He's mad, his eyes are broken. <laughs> no, he just like Oliver, Oliver the same way. He's not good. He's confused. <laughs> what? And he's going, Boo! Hey, kid. There. <laughs> I think I've got him stuck in something. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh! oh. He's well, confused. I don't know. I, I, you got to read the book on it. He's upset. I'm telling you. He's about it, to it's attack. All, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> hey, well, hold it. Let's give up on that animal, all right? <laughs> This one here, I'm sure you've seen him. And that, believe it or not, that was one of my Christmas presents, too, this one. This is Tammy's present. This is uh, Teddy Ruck. Hey, Ruck. Get back here. <laughs> hey, hold it, Pat. Hey, just let it be. It'll roll. It'll just walk around there. It'll, it just, it, it does, it, it just really does whatever it wants to do. It's sort of, like a real cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. No, no, go, go, go. Go, Teddy, go. Go. Cat. I'll just go see Bethel then. <laughs> oh, I don't know what. <laughs> have you have, have you seen Teddy? What? I think. <laughs> you know what's happening? What is happening? His batteries are gone. What? Do you think his you think his batteries are gone? I bet he was left on all night. Has somebody been playing with? Are you been playing with him? You guys have been it? over there playing. Are we picking up the transmitters in here, do you think? I think we may be picking... Have one of the technicians look at it. I think we may be picking up the microphone transmitters uh, in here. still running around here on the floor. <laughs> How do I shut him off? Yeah, that's what it is. It's picking up my transmitters. Yeah, but now we, but we need a microphone. What well, we need is a wire microphone. Here, here, Dave, you hold it. I can't be near him though. I'm Jim, wired. how do I shut this cat off? I don't know. He just let it go. It'll be... <laughs> okay, I need to get away from the bear. You see, I'm wired. Let you know. I. I'm not wired off. I don't know. If, yes, you oh, are. There that, that's wired. Well, that's why. This is Christmas. Let me show people what I what I go through to go on the get on the air every day. This this is the reason I'm I am a radio station. If you can look here. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not injured. That that is that is a transmitter pack, with a cable goes up my pant leg, and it comes up through my shirt to this microphone. And so I'm literally a walking radio station with this, and uh, the audio people hear me wherever I go, and wherever I am, and running around in private conversations and whatever. They, I'm wired here. And so that, what happens is, is Teddy's picking up the transmitters from here. So uh, he's all right without, when we're away from him, I think. Is he all right? He's all right. If I can get him to go anywhere. Maybe. Uh, you think we're at the end of his tape? We're really doing good with old Teddy I here today. Uh... His mouth is moving. Sorry. Uh, I think I bet we're... his tape's at the end of. I think we're at the end of his tape, probably. We didn't get, we didn't... Uh... Take his jacket off here. <laughs> Howard and Vestal have that song ready, they told me. All right? All right. 
Oh, right there, right where you are. They're going to sing, Since Jesus Came Into My Heart. Howard invested the... Yeah. Oh, yeah. He came the first time. Now he lives in our heart. What a wonderful change in my life has been wrought since Jesus came into my heart. I have life in my soul. For so long I have sought Since Jesus came into my heart Since Jesus came into my heart Since Jesus came into my heart Much of joy for my soul Like the sea talk to you too. Well, good. Uh, we got something I want you and Tammy to come for because our staff, who love you very, very much, we, uh, we had one of our wonderful people here who got us all together, this entire staff, and we have commissioned the senior illustrator, one of the senior illustrators of the Disney Corporation, to make a very special presentation to Jim and Tammy. Oh. And we want you to come. You're kidding. No, I'm oh, not kidding. I was walking up to interview you. You, and you, you were walking to me. I wonder why and he knew I was coming to him. I just told Tammy I was going. What am, what, what am I supposed to do? What am, where am I? Who am I? Right, can I help you? Yeah. 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 Something. Oh, the dream the never oh. ends. All, the different, oh. all of the different aspects of the burdens that God has laid upon your hearts, whether it's the amphitheater, the Heritage Grand, oh Crystal Palace, oh. the New Towers, the Old Village, the Upper Room, Main oh. Street, the Towers. Isn't that And oh. the dream never ends. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> That's really nice. <laughs> well, well Jim and Tammy, crying. you know what? Why are you crying? Let me it's tell you, pretty. we know your great concern. You look gorgeous in it. Is that why you're crying? <laughs> it is one of the finest paintings that I've ever seen of both of you. You know the interesting thing, Jim? Oh, it's is that, that you. I know your feelings about the tightness of our operation, the budget. Yeah, yeah. But our staff gave their dimes and their quarters oh, no. and oh, their dollars. No. That's who has paid for this. Our staff giving just Thank small you. contributions put together. Oh, we want both of you to know 
that the dream never, oh. never ends. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you for the chat. Thank you. Thank you. That is beautiful. You know, I, I wish I could have copies made for all of our partners, and maybe, I don't know what, the, maybe someday we could do that. I don't know. We'll talk about it. Because, boy, is that, boy, will I treasure that. Oh. I'm going to be torn whether letting it hang here or take it home. <laughs> <laughs> it's my present. I get to take it yeah, home if I want to, right? <laughs> Brother Dorch, Mildred, come and stand next to Pastor Dorch, will you? And uh, tell us what, what Christmas that maybe the two of you together or when you were a little girl or when you were a little boy, that what was the Christmas that kind of stands out today as we're thinking of Christmas past? The first one that I thought of when you mentioned, you know, memorable Christmas is uh, both of our families are very close. And the first experience we had away from our families was in Europe. And we were dreading that, of course, and felt very far away from everybody. And uh, all of you who are away from your families today know that feeling, and it's deep. But God planned a very special Christmas for us and let us go up to Denmark to be with some friends and it was so unique and just a very very special time for us and we isn't it grateful. something just about everybody's telling his stories about Christmases that look like they're going to be yeah. terrible right. but God turned it around right. and, and things turned out better after all you know I we, we told our children who gets to spend Christmas in Lapland yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was yeah. what an experience yeah. I think what we're all saying today is this is the basis of the gospel God turns mistakes into miracles, problems into blessings, just takes heartaches and turns them into silver bells instead of, instead of a doom sound. Uh, this is what happens. This is what happens. Tammy Faye's in the living room right now, and uh, we yeah, have a lot of I'm over here chatting with some wonderful PTL friends. Staff. By the way, Tam. Yes. Yeah. I want to. I don't know where Mark Bergen is. Oh, there's Mark and Wanda. Mark's Mark is handing me a present right now, that. Uh, is the present one of the presents I wanted more than anything else and Mark is our budget director this is the beginning of what Mark this this is a lot of work that your vice presidents have put in to see that in 1986 we meet the goal of having our bills paid and of being a, an operation the way that you and the Lord want it to be this is the this is the balanced budget that the United States is trying to obtain and uh, we're going to beat the country Amen. because we're looking for a balanced budget and this is our this will be our first balanced budget in history if we can pull this off and we have, this is really this is really five years of work so this ministry will be able to pay its bills the ministry is 11 years old so it's not a little kid anymore it's growing up and it has to be more responsible in its in its bill paying and we live by faith, but this has been a lot of work, and this is the thing, and I want, if you're going to pray for anything for PTL, pray that we'll be able to be honorable and pay our bills in 1986. Amen. And Jim, I believe God's going to enable us to do that. I really do. Oh, we have so many of our good friends sitting around here, Jim, the people that we love so much in this living room today. <laughs> we really do. But why don't you have... Uh, Everybody just say Merry Christmas okay. and introduce I'll themselves. I'll do it. I sure will. Okay. <laughs> I'll let them introduce themselves. And All right. Uh, we'll start with here. Okay. I'm Gene, and this is my wife, Shirley. Hello, Shirley. And what do you do in the ministry? I'm the vice president of retail. That's it. And Shirley, this is the wife, right? <laughs> are you getting her? All right. I'm not in front of her. I don't want to be in front of her. Okay. And I know who these people you are. But... Gene <laughs> Shirley. You're Shirley Shirley, then. <laughs> Shirley Shirley? Yes. Their first name Shirley, and their last name is Shirley. Can you imagine? Can what you did you think when you went to marry him and you knew you were going to have a name of Shirley Shirley? It was a blind date, the only blind date I'd ever gone on. I knew it was destiny when I heard his last name. <laughs> <laughs> you said Shirley, goodness and mercy, right? <laughs> oh, Shirley, that's your Shirley. kids, right? <laughs> okay, right here we have my dear friend. It's a joy for us to be here, Tammy, and the people have been talking about their most memorable Christmases, yes. and we've had many, but the last two, I think, are... Wow some of the best oh. we have our family here and we're with our dearest friends oh, we love love you. You. Mm. Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without without my dear friend Mona and, <laughs> and her husband <laughs> and who is this husband 
Well, I think a word of wisdom is in order. Surely, surely is not to be confused with verily, verily. <laughs> Dave Lewis is always pulling tricks no, no. on me. Verily, verily works in accounting. <laughs> oh, I see. Jim, I got to tell people about the trick Dave just pulled on me. He sent me a letter to the house. He is always pulling bad tricks on me. And, and the outside of the envelope said, Pregnancy results in clothes. Open immediately. I almost die. I thought you died. Dave, and then he, he's always yeah, pulling Can you imagine what me. that's going to do to your reputation down there at the... <laughs> yeah, and the whole, whole post office all probably thinks I'm pregnant. <laughs> right. Worse than and, that. And, huh? Worse than that, when you don't have a baby, they're going to think you aborted it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just let everybody know I can't have babies That's how anymore. rumors start. <laughs> and, in, and inside of it, Jim, it says this is a... Um, a yeah. national uh, survey national to see what it takes to get people's attention. Yeah. Now, he made up his own national survey yeah. for me. Willa Dorsey, it's nice to have you here with our family today. Yeah. Thank you. Love you sing a little song for us, will you, Willa? This is one Christmas wouldn't be without saying about what it is all about. Sweet little Jesus boy, they made you be born in a manger. Sweet little precious holy child, we didn't know Inspirational Network, we're going to be having one more hour of this and meeting all of our friends and singing, and we got presents, and we're going to just have the best time. And uh, Charlotte Whiting's here with us. Charlotte, it's nice to have you Hi. here. I was just standing here thinking, you know, Charlotte's the executive director of the Heritage Grand Partner Center. She runs the entire hotel for us now and all the lodging here. Isn't this something? You finally got an inn where Jesus won't be turned away from you. <laughs> and the Bergens are here with us, and the Johnsons. Sam, nice to have you here on board, you and your wife. Thank you. And uh, all of the folks here are with us from the staff. We'll be meeting them in, uh, during their next hour. And the, uh, the man who made Christmas City happen is over here. 
And how are you doing? Did you have a good Christmas in the middle of all of this? Oh, it was excellent. Our kids are just full of joy and they're out there just <laughs> excited about being here. Jimmy Swain and his wife, and they they have... Uh, she called one hour. This is Mrs. Santa Claus, but she has to... <laughs> you finally got to meet your husband again? Right. <laughs> And uh, everyone here working together to make Christmas City a reality. And having our friends gathered here together. And some of you, I know we have to say goodbye at this time. But we wish you a merry, merry Christmas. And thank you for your love and all your kindness to us. We love you and God loves you. Merry Christmas and goodbye for this hour. You on the satellite, stay with us for another hour. Guests of the Jim Baker Program stay at the beautiful Heritage Grand Partner Center.